Hey, good morning. It's early. On this pallet are two Tesla Powerwall 3s. And today is installation day. I'm so excited. And it's not even six in the morning yet. Shh. Over my shoulder right here is Tesla Energy. It's their truck that uh, showed up this morning. They are installing Tesla Powerwall 3s to my house. And I wanted to take you through a little bit of the process of uh, how it all works and what to expect if you're deciding to do this uh, for your home. Basically, when I decided to do this, I was in the Powerwall 2 category. It took a while for Tesla to actually respond to me because at the time, Elon Musk said that if you have existing solar, you can't put Tesla power walls on your house. Well, then he eventually loosened that up and said, you can still have regular solar that's already there and we'll come and install that. So once that opened up, it turned out power wall threes were about a month away from being released. So I waited that month. I put in my request. You put down a hundred dollar deposit just to kind of prove that you're uh, serious about this whole thing. I think I waited a week or so before Tesla contacted me and then the ball starts rolling and they are definitely good with communication. I will give them that once uh, that process happens, it starts uh, moving. I don't want to say quickly, there is a lot of waiting involved, um, but you've got uh, forms to fill out and uh, you've got an inspection that a guy comes out and, and surveys the area, takes lots of pictures, measurements, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and let you know what you need to do if you need to fix anything, uh, move anything, all that sort of stuff. So uh, that happened, and then I had a separate uh, uh, inspection. They called out the main Tesla uh, inspector for the area, as well as the LA County fire inspector, and they came out to kind of look at my wall and make sure my outside wall was far enough from the neighbor and gas lines and all kinds of other stuff. Once that was approved, uh, then we ha they had to submit for permits. That took two or three weeks, which actually was faster than I thought. So once uh, everything is permitted, then you do a bunch of back and forth with the, uh, the Tesla folks and say, yes, this date's good. You schedule the time and date. They turned out they rescheduled it from the day that it was supposed to be. Then they unschedule that and put it back to the day that it was supposed to be. So you got to be flexible in terms of when you're home. The other thing you need to know about is they're going to cut power to your house for four to six hours. So uh, I've got a bunch of uh, Jackery batteries around the house and we're, we're going to be ready for that. We'll probably get the Wi-Fi going and, and stuff like that. But it's done during the day. Don't open your fridge. Don't open your freezer. They should be fine for that four to six hour period. Um, but uh, those are just some of the things that I wanted you to, to let you know about uh, what to expect upon installing installation as we take a look uh, uh, more about this installation. Uh, why don't we go take a look now? So we got like the whole crew here. We got uh, this Tesla Energy. Yes, they have work trucks, of course. Uh, they'll probably be switching over to cyber trucks at some point. Not really loyal either. We got a Ford and a Dodge. Check out this uh, work truck though. My gosh, they are prepared for everything in terms of tools and all that sort of thing. These are the pallets that they came on. It's funny, my wife was uh, worried about, they just, you know, drop the pallet off in the driveway and I'm like, what if somebody steals it? I'm like, I don't know, it's like over a thousand pounds out there. We've got uh, some stuff going on inside the garage. And then we've got some stuff on the outside of the garage. I think the batteries are gonna be on the outside of the garage. We've got a, a crew of two here working on it. And then uh, Quality just showed up. She just said she's uh, with Tesla Quality. So she's uh, surveying the area and after everything looks good. But, uh, this is what you can expect if you get Tesla power walls. They're gonna kind of tear apart your house for a little bit, but it's temporary. I've been giving the Tesla crew uh, you know, nice cold waters and sodas all day and I'm doing a little afternoon coffee run from Starbucks. You know, just uh, keeping them going and a uh, little something nice for the for the Tesla crew installing our power walls. I'm not saying you have to do this, but it's a nice little gesture, I think, anyway. So a uh, little latte, a little iced tea. Everybody wants a little of something there. So uh, there you go.
little Starbucks action for our Tesla crew today. I've got all the pricing details as well as discounts, if any, that I received here in LA County. But first, don't forget to like this video. It truly means a lot to the channel as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. There's over 10,000 of you that have, and that really, really blows my mind. So uh, there you go. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Totally appreciate it. Now back to the video. A little afternoon update. We've got uh, two Tesla energy trucks here. There's my car, of course. There's the uh, Tesla energy truck loaded down with all kinds of stuff. And uh, they, they work fast. I have to admit, they work really, really fast. You can take a look here. Basically by 10 a.m. they had almost everything in place. And now it's the tedious, arduous task of wiring <laughs> and feeding it all through these conduits and stuff. So this is the inside look of it. Interesting, they put their waters on top of the wires but there's nothing energized yet so so that's what our garage looks like right now and a couple hours i think it'll be um looking like tesla power walls to be honest so uh, pretty cool looking so far we'll go take a look at the outside too take a look at this truck it's like a home depot on wheels uh, speaking of home depot nailed that one well here they are the Tesla Power Wall 3s. Check that out. Pretty cool. We got two of them. I'll show you the garage in a second, but good conduit work here. I think we'll be painting that. Uh, not the vinyl, he said. We can't paint the vinyl, but the metal we can. So check it out, and they have it a little, a little bit off the ground in case it rains. Obviously, there's drainage here, so that's good. But uh, looking pretty good. And it's nice and low. So it's uh, off the fence line here and everything. Lots of wiring. It goes up and over and into the garage. Now we've got a disconnect here. they go they were here at 7 15 in the morning and they are leaving at straight up 6 p.m done job well done well job done something like that it's pretty quick so they had two guys two installers and one quality control person that was here all day here's a take a if you want to take a look at the uh, the garage install all this conduit is new the one running down from the ceiling was there already and it uh, goes over here to the uh control unit, which is right there in the white. And then they actually give us a new breaker box, which is connected to the other breaker box. So that's what uh, goes on on the inside of this particular install. Everybody's install is gonna be different, of course. And then uh, take a look over here. We've got the uh, disconnect. And then we've got our power walls in there behind the fence, which is pretty cool. So uh, they said they don't recommend painting the PVC, but we can paint the metal piping so that it'll match the house and make that look nice and stuff. Oh, so the best part of the installation, they left me this sticker. This is gonna be satisfying. There we go, look at that. We get a close up of that. That's what it's all about right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got the uh, pricing details right here on a uh, piece of paper. I'll also throw it up here on the screen so we can uh, review it together so you know what to look forward to when you are pricing this out for your home. Obviously, my situation is going to be different or slightly different than most, but this is going to give you a rough idea as to what to expect in terms of pricing. So I got two Powerwall 3s coming in at $14,600. Uh, installation is $6,900. One gateway. Uh, which I showed you, that's the in the garage. It's kind of like the conductor of the whole thing. It tells power where to go and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. 
uh, accessories 200 so I got a referral bonus for being a Tesla customer I have two Tesla so I got the referral bonus of $500 and then a multi-unit discount because I decided to get two power walls instead of just the one so if they're at uh, 1460 you divide that by in half that's uh, 7300 and then you deduct 22 from that 2200 it's in the five range for that second uh, power wall which is pretty cool uh, put a hundred dollar deposit down so grand total with the uh, hundred dollar deposit and all of the stuff included that I'm showing you right now twenty one thousand uh, thirty five dollars is is the total for this complete installation that I have showed you now I did do my due diligence and I did three quotes before uh, doing this whole process. The other two contractors that I contacted were Tesla approved. I got them right from the Tesla website. Yes, they actually uh, recommend people. So those other two were local to my area. One came in at $28,000 and the other one came in at $32,000. Same exact install that I wanted for, uh, for this. So. Uh, it just turned out that I got the lowest quote from the people that make the Tesla Powerwall. So it was kind of a no-brainer to have this uh, uh, done by them. And uh, so far, so good. I'm pretty happy with it. One thing I gotta let you know before I go, and I'm gonna be doing other videos on this system, of course, giving you all the specs and details and all that kind of fun stuff. But one thing I didn't expect is I'm addicted to the app for this thing. It's, the, of course, the Tesla app that I use for the cars, but if you swipe, all of a sudden you got your house there and it's got all the details of solar coming in and power coming in from the grid and how much you're using and where it's all going. And as soon as you turn an appliance on, you know exactly how much it's using. And uh, it's, it's crazy to think that a coffee maker, believe it or not, uses a ton. Obviously, I already knew about like toasters and toaster ovens, but a coffee maker, I wake up in the morning and my house is using it. To, oh, it's making my morning coffee. It's a lot. I think I'm going to do a video of how much your house uses and what Powerwall does with it at some point. That might be a fun video. So once again, thank you so much for watching one of our Tesla Tips and Trips videos. My newest uh, Tesla edition is now part of my home. So uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see you on the next video.